Hello and welcome to Tutorials with Larry. My name is Larry King and I hope to teach you something new today. Well, this is the second video in our ARC series and today I'm going to focus on something that you'll all be dealing with sooner than later and that is death and dying. Uh, ARC is a very difficult game and you're going to die a lot and so I'm just going to give you some tips on how that works and uh, what you can do to kind of make things easier each time you do die. So, uh, what I'm going to do is run out and we're going to look for something to attack that we can't beat. So it'll kill us and I'll show you how this whole process works. Okay, so here's three trikes. Uh, if you attack one of them, they're all going to come after you. So, let's go ahead and go after this guy. Yep, and they're not too nice when you make them mad. Okay. All right, that didn't take very long. So what happens when you die is you will appear um, basically at a bed or a sleeping bag that you might have created for yourself. Now, if you didn't have one of those, then you're going to appear just at some random location in the map. So uh, Viking Bay 2 was our starting location when we started the game. So we're going to keep it there and we're going to hit respawn random location here at the bottom of the screen. And then you're going to see the same animation you saw when you started playing. And if you look around, you can kind of get your bearings and see that uh, we're pretty close to where we just died. So we're going to run back over there. Okay, now I'm getting a little closer to where I just died. And what you can see here is this tall green sort of glowing pillar. That uh, is just a marker, shows where your body is. Uh, not to be confused with that green pillar there, that's actually a loot drop. Uh, this one looks a little bit different. Let's just run over here. Now the Triceratops won't be mad at us anymore because uh, They've already forgotten that we attacked him by now. So just come on up and there's your body. Now, what you want to do is, is you can hit E, like it says, to access your inventory. And these are all the items you had on your inventory before. Uh, so you can take those items and drag them to your inventory. Or if you mouse over them and hit the letter E on each item, it will, it will transfer, or T, I think, sorry. Uh, it'll transfer it over. Or right up here at the top, there's this transfer all button. So click that, and it immediately takes everything off your body. And then you can just close this window. Now, ARC is still a little bit glitchy sometimes. Uh, sometimes your body will disappear like it should because there's no inventory left on it. Um, if it doesn't, then it's just going to decompose all on its own in about three hours. So um, you just got to kind of just let it go away on its own. So that's basically it. Now, I'm going to show you how to build a bed or a sleeping bag because the whole idea of building shelter here is to keep yourself protected. It's also to kind of give you a home base so you can store things there. Um, it just, you know, keeps things safe. So the idea here is probably build some kind of a bed inside of the structure and probably a roof at some point too because those birds right there like to attack you. And uh, so let's go ahead and get the supplies we need to make a bed and a sleeping bag. And then I'll go ahead and show you how those work. Okay, so the first thing we need is the recipe for a sleeping bag or for a bed. So go ahead and hit I. And then if you go to your crafting tab here, it'll show if you have one of those recipes. We, we haven't memorized that one yet, so we have to learn it. Oh, and it looks like we just gained a level, so good timing. So let's go ahead and add some health. Okay, so at the top of your screen here, you have this, this Ingram tab. You can always click that. It's, it's already selected whenever you level up. Uh, so what we want to look for is a sleeping bag, and it's, it's actually right here under level 4, a hide sleeping bag. So we don't have that memorized yet, so let's do that. And the other item we're looking for is a bed, so let's just do a search for it. Okay, so we have simple bed. Um, I don't have enough Ingram points to memorize that, but uh, let's go ahead and start gathering some supplies. Maybe we'll level up again and we can make that as well. Okay, so I'm going to start gathering the supplies I need for a bed 
and for a sleeping bag, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I've went ahead and gathered everything we need. So let's go back to our inventory, and it looks like we did level up. So let's go ahead and add a point to melee damage. Okay, now we need to look for that bed. And it's right here, simple bed. So go ahead and memorize that. And then let's hit the letter V. Remember, that's a shortcut to go straight to your crafting tab. And then let's go ahead and make um, a sleeping bag. Actually, you know what? Let's don't even make a sleeping bag. I'll, let me explain the difference here. So a sleeping bag is more of a temporary fix. It's, it's designed to, uh, whenever you die, you can respawn back at the point where you left that sleeping bag. The problem is that the sleeping bag disappears after you use it once, whereas a bed uh, doesn't disappear at all. So it actually it actually stays there, and you can res respawn in it as much as you need to. Um, the the one catch though is it has like a five minute timer. So if you die and run out and grab your body and you die again within five minutes, you can't respawn at that bed until that timer uh, ticks down. So sometimes you'll actually build multiple beds in your house uh, just for that purpose. So uh, let's go ahead and craft a bed. All right, and um, you know, let's go ahead and ca uh, craft a couple of these thatch ceilings as well, uh, just to uh, get a little roof over our heads in our house. So um, a trick you can do, uh, if you right click on any of these items, remember, you can get a sub menu that pops up. You remember E uh, is your magical key that does everything for you, but you can actually go here where it says craft all. So I have enough supplies in my inventory right now to craft three of these. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually, while that's crafting, you can hit escape, and you can actually still move around and do stuff. It actually makes you move pretty slow, but uh, at least you can kind of multitask a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our house. And I'm moving a little slower here, too, because we're also encumbered. If you look again on the right-hand side, um, right under my level up arrow that's blinking, you'll see that little weight. Um, it's almost full, so we're almost fully encumbered here. But uh, let's get some roof going. So open I to open your inventory. And then um, you can actually mouse over this and hit the letter E to pick one up. And then it sort of locks in place there. Let's go ahead and drop one in. Now let me show you another trick. If you open the I key, you can actually take, if you have multiple items like this, drag it somewhere into your hotbar, say an empty slot like number five. So if I hit number five now, it immediately goes there, and I hit five again, and you can keep doing this so that you don't have to keep digging back into your inventory. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop our bed down. And put it right there. And let's go make one more thatch roof. Okay, just need some thatch for that. Now what will happen is when it makes that item that you've put in your hotbar, it puts it right back in the hotbar here. So uh, it's kind of convenient. It's also easy to forget. If you wonder why you're encumbered sometimes, you might forget that you have a stack of, you know, five ceilings here in your hot bar. So it's something to check from time to time. The other thing I, I uh, wanted to point out too, when you do die and you transfer all the items back to your inventory, it doesn't put your clothes back on. So uh, you actually have to still go in here and, uh, and put whatever clothes you happen to have back on your body. If you have anything in your hotbar like your your spear, your what you know your tools and things like that, it will put those back in your hotbar for you automatically. So let's go put our last piece of roof on for our masterpiece of a house. Okay. So that's basically it. Now the next time I die, uh, my body will actually I can respawn right in here. So Maverick, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Let's attack something that I cannot kill. Oh yes, and that sound you just heard, um, I actually pooped. So, um, believe it or not, uh, poop is a very, kind of a big part of this game. Uh, I know it sounds strange, but uh, I'll explain more of that later in a later tutorial. So let's go ahead and attack one of these trikes again. Basically a suicide mission. Yellow. 
All right, pretty hopeless. But now you'll get to see what happens. So you can see up here on the map, um, you have all the beds that are in range. You can just click on whichever bed you want, and I only have one. So you select the bed, and then right at the bottom, respawn at bed. And you can see I respawned my beautiful safe house. So, one last tip. If you go up to your bed and you hit the letter E and hold it, it'll bring up this radial menu. You can actually name your bed. Uh, the reason why you'd want to do this is if you have lots of beds on the map, it kind of helps you quickly identify, you know, this is the castle bed or this is the desert bed or whatever. So, you can go ahead and just do that, give it a name. Yeah, there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go collect my body and all my stuff and stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're gonna talk about taming your very first dino. Anyway, I definitely appreciate you listening. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.